Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my About Me video and the first thing I want to say is thank you because I have 3,100 subscribers which is like blowing my mind right now. I can't even believe it. Like when you really think about how many people, 3, 3,100, that's that's a lot <laughs> and all of you guys are so awesome so I got a lot of requests for this and I'm gonna do it um, I know that some of you probably don't want this kind of video um, and you just like the sounds and that's fine um, with you know this many subscribers though I'm kind of learning that you can't you can't please everybody in one video type thing you know so I'm just learning to just do, you know, <laughs> look at the mess in the background. I'm sorry, I haven't unpacked. Um, but I'm just learning that, you know, I'm just going to do what I'm going to do. And hopefully you guys will like it. And um, my goal is to be able to please a majority of you. But I know that, you know, not everybody likes the same sounds. So. Whoa, that's bright. Um, okay, so I have my laptop here, and I'm going to read through the questions that I got. Um, let's see. Okay, actually, most of the questions I got were ASMR related. So I'm going to just talk about ASMR for a little bit. Um, so when I first discovered... ASMR, although there wasn't really a name for it then. I, I don't even know how old I was. I was really young though. Probably about five years old. And the first sound I remember was my brother digging through his Legos. Um, I remember just laying on the floor and listening to that and just like entranced. Like, oh my god, it was so amazing, you know? And, um, you know, I... I don't know how, but somehow my brother and I both discovered that we had it. I don't know how we discovered telling each other about it or anything like that, but I remember him and I both would have sleepovers on each other's floors, you know, growing up, and we would make sounds for each other, and, like, that's how we would fall asleep, and, um, you know, just the first sounds I remember noticing that I liked were, like, Legos and um, typing and... My nails look really beautiful today, don't they? <laughs> um, the sounds of like digging through pencil bags, um, stuff like that. Like those are the sounds I remember flipping through pages, stuff like that. And um, I remember growing up, I would try to finish my tests first so I could, um, you know, listen to the sounds that people would make, like writing on their papers or flipping through their books and stuff like that and like the whispers and stuff so I really really liked that sound growing up and um for the longest time my brother and I thought we were just these like freaks because nobody ever ever understood like I would ask my friends all the time like do you ever feel this tingly amazing sensation in your head when you hear certain sounds and they just looked at me like Girl, you crazy. <laughs> because seriously, like, I, I never met anybody who understood. And then, um, so like I said, my brother and I almost thought it was something genetic, possibly. Like, we didn't, we didn't understand, but we just thought it was weird how, you know, the only two people we knew was just us, and obviously we were related, so. Um, and I've asked my parents, and neither one of them experienced it, so. I still wonder if it's genetic or like what I really want to know more about it but how I discovered it the community was actually back in about 2007 ish I was um, watching origami videos on YouTube and there was this um, this guy named super 1600 I think um, and he made origami videos, and he didn't ever talk, he was just folding paper, and it was so, so relaxing, and, um, I just remember 
watching those videos to go to sleep and then um, I discovered gentle whispering um, you know I actually don't remember how I discovered the actual ASMR community like I remember watching videos that weren't meant to be for sounds but I of course use them for sounds like silent unboxings stuff like that but I really don't remember how I found the actual community I think I went to Google and actually typed in tingly head feeling and sounds and and then I found ASMR I think that's what it was and then um, gentle whispering and um, sound sculptures and sound coma were the first that I found and I remember I used to email back and forth with sound sculptures a lot before she was really big and um, we would just talk about ASMR and I just one day decided to start making videos and I have a vlog channel which I don't use anymore but it was uh, Sarah Murray 20 and I used to just make vlogs on there for about four years and I had about I don't know 1300 subscribers and I thought it would be fun to make ASMR videos and I didn't really think that I was gonna get noticed a lot because it took me four years to get 1300 subscribers on my other channel but um, obviously the, the, this is has kind of blown up a little bit and I love it and it's it's fun to be in a community of people who understand what this is all about um, and to not feel so crazy because seriously I still haven't met anybody in real life that, that understands I feel like everybody the only people that I know that experience it are you guys online there's thousands of people on YouTube who make videos and watch videos but I can't seem to find one person in real life um, you know to be fair it's not like something that we talk about openly to strangers you know but none of my friends know what the heck I'm talking about so. um, let's see so that's basically my history with ASMR um, one question I got was, um, what sounds do I like and what sounds don't I like? I really, sounds that I, I wouldn't say I hate it, but I don't get triggered from the sound of rappers, which is funny because, oh, sorry, my nose is so itchy. It's funny because I know that that's one of the most common triggers for people, like rappers and plastic, like packaging and stuff. Um... Occasionally, certain people can give me tingles with that, but it's pretty rare. Um, but I think that that's because I became immune to it. I don't know if you guys agree, but I feel like certain sounds, if you listen to them too much, you become immune to it, and you don't get tingles. I don't know if that's true, because there are sounds that I've listened to a lot, and they still give me tingles, so I don't really know, but I used to like the sound of rappers, but now... Whenever people make those videos, I always fast forward through those parts because they just don't do it for me. Um, I also really, but the sounds that I love, that's like the only sound I don't particularly love, but I love the sound of rummaging. That's still to my this day my favorite sound. People rummaging and digging through their makeup and their pencil boxes is like heaven for me. I also really like jars, like opening and closing lids of jars. Um, I, I don't really find a lot of those though, so if you guys want to make me one, that'd be awesome. Um, so, as for roleplay videos, I actually don't personally get ASMR for them. Um, I do find them relaxing sometimes, but I don't really get tingles from them. It just kind of depends on the sounds, because voices don't really just, just somebody talking doesn't give me ASMR really. Um... So, I do make roleplay videos for you guys because I know that they're very highly requested. And um, my roleplay videos are the only reason I think I have so many um, viewers. My salon roleplay video has like 200,000 views. And that's funny because I almost deleted that video. Like, I didn't like it. And I just almost deleted it. So, I'm glad I didn't. Okay, so some questions I got, um, other than the ASMR, let's see, 
Um, do you, are you attached? I'm not really sure what that means, so we're going to skip that question. Um, whoa, like we have class. Um, people asked what I do in my spare time when I'm not making videos. Um, I don't know, just kind of what everybody does. I feel like I, I usually drink on the weekend. Like, I usually drink, limit myself to once a week because I don't, you know, I'm over those college party days. But, um, I just like to hang out with my friends and we like to play pool and video games. I love swimming. I love watching football. That's like my favorite thing in the world. Obviously, that's only in the fall, but I'm a huge Seahawks fan. So you can probably see from my shrine in my kitchen. I have a Seahawks shrine. I know they're not that good, but I'm obsessed. Um, another person asked me what is my favorite band. Maroon 5. Obsessed. Highly obsessed. <laughs> I love Adam Levine a lot. But I know every other girl in the world does too. But I've loved Maroon 5 since their 2003 songs about Jane CD. And I know they're getting a lot bigger now, but I've been obsessed with them for about like eight years now. Um, let's see. What was your college experience like? Well, I even though I've lived in Dallas for a while, I... Um, I pretty much lived in Dallas my whole life, but I moved to Seattle for a few years, and I went to college up there. I have my bachelor's degree in sociology, and um, my college experience was fun. I partied a lot, but um, I I loved it. I loved college. I had a lot of friends um, that I miss up in Washington, but I'm kind of glad to be back back in Dallas, my old stomping grounds. Um, I work in the hotel industry. I won't tell you where, but I work for a hotel. Um, somebody asked if I want a million dollars if I would quit my job. Yes. <laughs> I would love to just go travel and not work, but I think anybody would. <laughs> um, Relaxing Sounds 92, whom I love. She's awesome. She, whoops, I just turned my computer off. <laughs> She asked if where my roots lie. Um, pretty much both sides of my family are from um, German. I'm pretty much all German, a little Scottish, um, but mostly German. Crap, guys, I turned my computer off. Damn it. I'm trying to remember all the other questions you guys asked. Um, dang it. I don't want to redo this video. I might have to do a part two if that's okay with you guys. Because I don't really remember the rest of the questions. Um, so I guess I'll just end this here. I'm really sorry that was totally not supposed to happen. But um, there's still some more questions you guys asked and I would love to answer them. But I need to, um, I'll have to just make a part two. Because this video is actually already almost as long as it can be on my phone. So... I'll just make a part two if you guys would like and answer the rest of your questions. And um, just thank you guys so much for your support. And um, I'm going to keep on making these sounds videos for you and role play videos. And, and I hope that um, you continue to enjoy them. Bye.